Is there anything more frustrating than when the opposition starts time wasting? It's incredibly boring and kills the momentum in exciting games. Time wasting is probably my least favourite thing in football because it makes it less entertaining and engaging to watch. But unless the rules are changed, players will continue to tactically waste time to the detriment of the fans and the spirit of the game. Football league referees have been told to clamp down on time wasting. Something does need to be done because ultimately football is a sport, it's entertainment and the more time the ball is in play the better. Seconds gave it to Havertz who faffed around for nine seconds, gave it to Tomiyasu, took eight seconds, got booked. And we have a 90 minute game and in the end you have net game time between 50 and 55 minutes. If people are wasting time, stop the clock. If you are worried about substitute time, stop the clock. We all want more minutes on the pitch. There's a lot of time wasting going on and it has been going on for years. But I hope at the end we find like a good solution together that we don't have 10 to 15 minutes extra time and yellow cards everywhere. We need to find a solution. There are currently two main ways that referees can stop time wasting. Firstly, referees can give out yellow cards when players delay the restart of play. For example, taking too long over a goal kick or kicking the ball away. We've seen more yellows given out this season, but they're not consistent and don't actually stop time wasting. Refs are reluctant to give out soft early yellows as it riles the game up. The threat of a yellow in the 90th minute is not going to stop a goalkeeper from wasting as much time as they can. Referees can also add on wasted time at the end of games. We've seen a lot more of that this season, with many games reaching the 100 minute mark. This is mainly because they're now more accurately counting the time for substitutions, the time that's taken after a goal is scored, and there being a lot more VAR pauses in the Premier League this season. This has led to the ball in play time rising from 56 to 59% in the Premier League this season, having consistently been dropping for the last 10 years. But a big reason for that is that games are lasting consistently longer than they were last season because of all that extra time. I don't feel like this is the best way to stop time wasting. Teams time waste because they want to stop the momentum momentum, they want to kill games, you know, they want to slow it down. They don't care if an extra minute or two is added on at the end. I also don't like the fact that so many games are going to 100 minutes now. We don't want football turning into American football and having three hour marathon games, especially in this modern digital age. We want them to be as snappy and exciting as possible. Ultimately, we don't want soft yellows racking up and games regularly reaching the 100 minute mark. So here's my solution for how we stop time wasting. For me, the most obvious thing that needs to be done to stop time wasting is to get the ball back in play much, much quicker. Free kicks, corners and goal kicks all take around 30 seconds to get back in play, with throw-ins at 16 seconds and penalties and goals lasting much longer. I think a lot could be done to get the ball back into play quicker. The current rules state that there should be only 10 balls used in each game. We should have multiple balls all situated around the outside of the pitch that all of the players can quickly go grab. Could we look at potentially having neutral ball boys that that are trained to get the ball back as quickly as possible. I was at the Arsenal Fulham match and the amount of time wasted by Leno in the last half an hour was ridiculous. For every goal kick, the ball boy would be on the edge of the area, one of the players would come over, he'd ask for the ball boy to throw him the ball, then the player would totally dummy the ball and start walking away. Leno would walk out of his six yard box to the edge of the area, pick it up and then walk all the way back. They'd fake a short goal kick and then after literally 40, 50 seconds, he'd eventually take the goal kick. You can't blame Leno or the ball boy for this situation because they had just playing according to the rules, which include no limit for time wasting, and the threat of a yellow, especially for a goalkeeper, is hardly a punishment. Every time the ball goes out of play, I feel like the ball boy should put the ball straight onto the corner flag, should give the ball straight to the player that's taking the throne, and even straight into the six yard box for goal kicks. For me, that's the first step, getting the ball back to the player who's going to put it in as quickly as possible, and then we need to mandate how much time it takes for the player to get it back into play. There are currently no exact rules on how much time is actually wasting time and when the referee should give out a caution. I propose we give the ref clear rules that he should follow. Once the ball is with the player that will pull it back into play, I think the ref should start a 10 second timer by clearly showing his watch and going like this, and then that gives the player 10 seconds to get the ball back into play. The refs can have some leniency here with this, but anything over 15 seconds I think needs a clear punishment. The first time there should just be a clear warning from the referee, but then the second time there should just be a straight change of possession. If you've got the ball for more than 15 15 seconds above your head taking a throw in, I think bang, give the other team the ball. That's the number one way that will 100% make sure that teams will absolutely eradicate time wasting.
Another thing we badly need to look at is properly enforcing the six second rule. Currently, goalkeepers are never ever penalized for holding it more than six seconds. The rule currently states that if they hold it for more than six seconds, they're supposed to be penalized with an indirect free kick. But I don't think I've ever seen that in a football game. Comment below if you know any examples of that. For me, that is too harsh of a punishment and no referee is gonna wanna give out an indirect free kick. I propose we change it to 10 seconds and we properly enforce it. I think the first time the keeper holds it for more than 10 seconds, they should be given a yellow card with a clear warning that if they do it again, it will result in an indirect free kick. There is the more radical idea of introducing a 30 minute rugby style clock that is paused when the ball is out of play. It would certainly create consistency across games of how much ball in play time there actually is, but honestly I do not think this is a good idea. It would allow teams to kill the momentum in games and take as long as they want while the ball is out of play. Realistically, I'm not too worried about ball in play time for football. There are so many other sports like tennis, American football and baseball that have so much lower ball in play time but are still exciting, but I definitely don't support this idea because breaking up up and slowing down the game would be more tolerated and what makes football so special is that rhythm and constant excitement. I also think football could look at implementing post-game punishments for time wasting. If a team takes more than 40 or 50 seconds for their goal kicks or more than 20 or 30 seconds for their throw-ins, perhaps they could get a fine after the game. It would obviously be pennies for the Saudi public investment fund but it could at least symbolically demonstrate that we don't want this in our game. As the modern digital world moves towards more engaging and quicker content, football must adapt and continue to innovate. We want people watching to be on the edges of their seats. And to do this, we need to make sure the game flows and continues to be as snappy as possible. Teams are currently taking advantage of the rules and killing the momentum in exciting games. I do think the FA and FIFA are doing good work towards decreasing time wasting and making the game flow quicker, but more can be done. How hard would it be to have more balls on cones around the stadiums and then a clear rule that states how long before the ball should be back in play. If you enjoyed this video consider checking out this one I think you might like it. I'll just let the algorithm choose whatever it wants to put there. Thank you so much I appreciate all the support on this channel over the last couple months it's been insane. I'd like to have a special special shout out to all my female audience which I know really drives the channel forward and especially everybody that's not subscribed. You guys are my true fans. 